Hello and welcome to another video and welcome to another book haul. Um, I've just been buying a lot of books recently. I don't have a load of books to show you in this haul but I have a few. Um, so I'm just going to get on with it. So the first book I have to show you is Surrender the Key. And this is the first in the library series by DJ McHale. Um, I've read one of his books before. He wrote the Stylo trilogy. Stylo... Um, I can't remember the others, but I read Stylo and kind of enjoyed it, it wasn't great. Um, and then he came out with this middle grade series, so this is Surrender the Key and it's all about a library. And when you check out certain books in the library, these puzzles and mysteries and stuff present themselves and you have to solve them to get out of the library. So I thought it sounded like a very interesting idea. Um, and the publisher's been very nice and put a number one on the spine, so that helps. And yeah, I just thought it sounded like a good story. So I picked it up. <coughs> okay, the next set of books I have, um, I showed you the first one, um, but I actually bought all of them, so they've all arrived at the same time. Um, so now I have the whole series. This is The Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. So there's All Systems Red, Artificial Condition, Rogue Protocol, and Exit Strategy. Um, yeah, and I showed you the other day that I bought All Systems Red. Um, these are short novella series, um, a sci-fi series about these robots who um, accompany... Uh, accompany uh, what, rogues or explor exploratory teams? Um, yeah, and these robots are sent with these exploratory teams to like keep them safe and stuff. And one of them goes, kind of like starts to develop his own personality and, um, what's the word? Conscience. And um, yeah, he goes around and calls himself the murder bot. And then some mystery happens and they have to figure out who's responsible and all that stuff but anyway I love sci-fi and I thought these sounded awesome and this is the full series so I went ahead and picked those up so the next book I have is one that I actually pre-ordered um, and it came I think yesterday um, and this is The Black Coats by Conneen Oaks um, this book is very interesting it's basically about a group of girls who decide to take revenge in any way they can on the boyfriends and husbands and generally just the men who have abused them. So yeah, I thought it sounded pretty good and like I said I pre-ordered it and I have started it. Um, it's good so far, it's a bit confusing but I don't know, I'm enjoying it. So I'm excited to see where that goes. Sorry, let me just remove these, because there's quite a few of them. Okay, the next book I have to show you is Vicarious by Paula Stokes. This is the first in the Vicarious series. There's a second one out now. Um, there's supposed to be this kind of dystopian world where there are killers. Um, it, and that's really all I know. It's like a murder mystery um, in this dystopian world. And this guy called Gideon um, helps these girls, these two sisters, I think take someone out. And then there's a whole murder mystery and everything. But I've heard that this book and this series are actually pretty good. And this was only like, what, £3 on Amazon Prime? So, in hardcover. So I thought I would get it and check it out. And now these next lot of books I went to, in the UK, we have a shop called The Works. And they sell lots of cheap... Um, stationery and sometimes books and they had a three paperbacks for five pound deal so I picked up six because I thought they were that was a very good price. So the first one I have is a it's a well not crime what's it called a thriller and it's a map of the dark by Karen Ellis and yes it's about a girl who goes missing and the FBI agent Elsa Myers is smart, determined, and gifted with an extraordinary ability to find missing children. So I think it has a bit of a, like, 
tiny bit of supernatural thing going on. But I thought it sounded pretty good. And um, I've heard Karen Ellis is a pretty good crime author. So I've got that one. Okay, the next one they had was... How do I say this? 84K, I think, by Claire North. And this is supposed to be a very good dystopian thriller. And it says, from one of the most original new voices in modern fiction comes an electrifying and provocative novel about a world where you can get away with anything. So yeah, that sounds pretty epic. Um, and I love the cover, it's gorgeous. It's got like a nice little butterfly, and I don't know, I think this cover's awesome. But yeah, I'm excited to get to this at some point. And the thing is, it's not difficult to read. There's like some chapters where it's two or three pages, or there's some where it's literally like, one word written on one page, so it looks big, but technically it's not that big. And then the next book I have, if you have followed my channel for a while, you will know that The Humans by Matt Haig is one of my fav. well, it is my favourite book of all time. Um, and they have recently republished most of Matt Haig's books in matching covers, so... A little while ago I picked up another copy of The Humans because they republished it in this beautiful cover. Um, and in the works they had the matching cover of The Radleys. Um, and this one is about a family in suburban England. They seem like a normal family but they may or may not be vampires. Um, and yeah, and the covers match and they are absolutely stunning. I love these covers. Mm. Pardon me. And the spines match, which is always helpful. But yeah. Um... And I'm just excited to get to these. Well, I mean, I've read this one like five times. I don't know, I might read it again in this new cover, but I've got this to keep forever. And hopefully I'll meet Matt Haig one day and get it signed, because I want to get all of the books that I have of his signed. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's those. The next book I have is another kind of crime-slash-thriller, and it's called In My House, and it's by Alex Horston. And it says, Ma Maggie lives a, a... Oh, sorry. Let me start that again. Maggie lives a life of careful routines and measured pleasures. But everything changes when, walking through Gatwick Airport, she is approached by a young woman who whispers a single word. Help. Maggie's actions save Anya from her br brutal trafficker. However, when the story runs in a newspaper, Maggie is panicked by the publicity and the strange phone calls she begins to receive. Then Anya makes contact and quickly insinuates herself into Maggie's ordered life. Insinuate? Yeah. So I thought it sounded pretty good. Um, I haven't heard much about it, but I thought I would give it a shot. And then uh, the last two books I have are both by George R. R. Martin. So we have The Fever Dream and The Armageddon Rag. And these are both like standalone books. This one is kind of like, it's kind of a vampire novel set on a ghost ship, which I think sounds amazing. Um, and the ship, I think, is called the Fever Dream. Yeah, it is. Abner Marsh has had his dearest wish come true. He has built the Fever Dream, the finest steamship ever to sail the Mississippi. Abner hopes to race the boat someday, but his partner is making it hard for him to realise his ambition. Joshua York put up the money for the Fever Dream. But now rumours have started about the company he keeps, his odd eating habits and strange hours. As the dream sails the great river, it leaves in its wake one too many dark tales, until Abner is forced to face down the man who helped his dreams become reality. Now I think Dane from Dane Reads. I'm not sure, I saw him haul this recently. I think he's read it, but I'm not sure, and I think he... If he did read it, I think he enjoyed it. So yeah, that's that one. And then yes, the other one, like I said, is the Armageddon Rag, and this is kind of a crime novel. It says, one-time underground journalist Sandy Blair has travelled far from his radical roots in the 60s until the bizarre and brutal murder of a millionaire rock promoter draws him back. As Sandy sets out to investigate the crime, he finds himself on a magical mystery tour of the pent-up passions of his generation. For a new messiah has resurrected the once-legendary rock band Nazgul, but with an apocalyptic new beat that is a requiem of demonism, mind control and death only Sandy may be able to change in time. So that sounds awesome. These, I think, were 
both written before Game of Thrones, and they both sound awesome. And I thought they were part of a series because the covers are similar and the spines are similar, but they're not. They're just republished covers, um, and they're both standalones. So yeah, I thought they sounded really good. So I got those. So yeah, that is another little haul for you there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wish, you may subscribe. If, you, if you've heard about any of these books or anything um, and you want to chat to me, you can talk to me in the comments below. And I will see you all again soon. Goodbye.